Imagine living your life after 50 and feeling energized and excited about your future. Welcome to the Women in the Middle podcast, the podcast for women who are ready to figure out what they want and create the life they deserve. Here's your host and master certified life coach, Susie Rosenstein. Hey there, today's episode is all about five ways to bring summer camp vibes back to midlife. Let's go. Welcome back to the podcast, Women in the Middle, with over a million downloads and counting. I'm your host, Susie Rosenstein, your master certified coach and midlife mentor, and I am so glad to be here with you again. The topic I want to coach you on today is how to bring back summer camp vibes to midlife. Yes, now, at your age, whatever that is, I'm talking about playfulness and magic, my friend. You deserve it. And it's been on my mind a lot lately. If you're listening in real time, it is that time of year again. The weather, the gardening, the sunshine, the vacations. There's a fun energy that starts vibrating and tingling about now, especially when you're young and getting excited about summer break. Remember that? And maybe summer camp. Did you go to summer camp when you were a kid? I was never a full-time every summer camp kind of kid. But I went a bit when I was young, I also went to band camp, and I worked at camp in my 20s. I knew it was something that I wanted for my kids, too. So they went to camp for about 10 years and loved it. So like I said, it's been on my mind. And to that end, I have something really fun that I wanted to share with you. Remember that in the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to give you the heads up about something super exciting and new that I would be announcing soon, and that it would be perfect for this time of year? Do you remember? Well, here it is. It's called Midlife Summer Camp. Midlife Summer Camp is a fun virtual group coaching experience for midlife women 50 plus who want to have some mindful, playful summer fun, just like the good old days. Yes, you heard that correctly. Summer fun like when we were kids, but without packing up and moving out for the summer to a place without air conditioning. (laughs) And this time, it's also without the bugs, the sunburn, and the bunk beds with the bad mattresses. We are going to have some meaningful, purposeful fun in the summer on Zoom with other midlife gals. Midlife Summer Camp with me, Susie the Midlife Coach, is going to be an engaging summer midlife coaching experience for you to meet some midlife gals, relax, try some new fun things, do some high quality thinking, and have some intentional fun. So ask yourself, when is the last time you created a fun, intentional, and meaningful experience like this for yourself, for you, that felt like camp? This, my friend, is putting yourself first. To get more info and to register, head over to www.midlifesummercamp.com. You can also find this information on my website at susierosenstein.com and click the shop tab. Everything's there for you. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Now let's talk about how to bring the summer camp vibes back in midlife. What is the first thing you think about when you go into the Wayback Machine and think back to what it was like when you started getting excited about the summer, especially summer camp? The first memory I have is an image of green grass. I remember thinking about the last day of school and running out the doors with anticipation and excitement for long, sunny days with friends. And I would say... When I think about it, it's really that anticipation and enthusiasm that stands out so much. Then when I had camp experiences, it was almost like magical anticipation. Like there was something so special that was about to happen. You could just feel it like a beautiful promise that the summer would be elevated, like like kind of sizzling. Something amazing was about to happen. People, friendships old and new, they were part of the magic. And it didn't feel hard like new friendships and new situations would be easy. There would just be an amazing ease about all of it. There was also something about the novelty of summer camp that didn't feel scary, that it was an okay place to try new things and experiences and activities, like you could do something you didn't do before and it was okay. You could have these experiences and that there would be lots of things to try on for size, like a cornucopia of things to try on. Right away, I have an image of trying stuff with art in the art cabin, the art bunk. The first time I was exposed to baked enamel was at camp. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. I had never seen anything like it. But I'm also thinking about how much fun it is to be outside so much of every day. So being so close to nature. The first time I saw a shooting star 
was at camp. So that's what comes up for me. There's also this feeling of joy, but not just a little bit of joy. It's kind of like joy on steroids. Everything is fun. Even stacking the dishes becomes fun. The attitude about this magical slice of life is just accepted and expected to be fun and over the top joyful. It's so intentional. Like everything is supposed to be that way. And then there's being part of something. You know, if you're not on team sports, maybe you didn't have this type of experience. I don't know. A strong sense of belonging. I felt that in band, but camp was definitely another part of my life where I had that feeling. And sometimes it starts with, you know, all the the pre-camp stuff, like even getting on the bus, thinking about the bus, or maybe what comes in the mail before that, like the bag tags. (laughs) And then there are the songs and the cabins and the unique ceremonies and traditions. So amazing. I still remember that Rufus Raskus chicken song, and I taught that to my kids. You're really part of something when you are fortunate enough to have this kind of camp experience. Of course, you can also have memories of special and memorable summers without summer camp. In my community, there was this public pool, and that was a big part of summer for so many. Lots of stories, lots of routines, lots of drama, like all kinds of stuff would happen there. It was definitely a highlight. But there's something special about camp. It really stands out. And my personal camp experience was quite limited as a kid. I had more of it later on in life as a counselor and then as a parent. I've also been in lots of conversations, though, with kids over the years talking about camp and looking forward to the next summer. I remember walking in on a conversation with my kids and I'm like, what are you talking about? It was the winter. And they were talking about camp, some big thing that would happen in the summer. And they were absolutely talking about it and really anticipating what it would be like the following year. You can really sense how magical it can feel to them and maybe to you too, as you're thinking about it now. I also notice how creative summer camp can be, and it's not just the camp plays, the dance performances, arts and crafts. It's not just that. It's also thinking creatively, how you want to have more fun, how you're going to pull some shenanigans, how you're going to meet the people, how you're going to try new things. It's an opportunity to be who you want to be, to dabble, dip your toe into a little bit more independence than you normally have, work on courage, try stuff, and maybe even reinvent yourself. As I was thinking about all of this, I couldn't help but notice how much of these aspects of the summer camp experience were also beneficial during important midlife transitions, like thinking about who you might want to be and what experiences you want to create for yourself. You don't have to have like a like this is in quotes, I'm sitting here doing air quotes. You don't have to have a midlife crisis, a formal, as if it is formal, but like weighty midlife crisis to know that you're in something worthy and notable of an identity check-in. It's a funk. I like to call it a funk. It's a phase where things are off. Or you might even have a keen sense of wanting more, more fun, more inspiration, more ideas, more midlife gals, more exciting plans, more future thinking. A phase like that. And like I said, thinking about how excited we were about summer camp and summer camp vibes felt quite similar to what's required to bust through a midlife funk and find that passion to figure out who you want to be. What kind of a woman do you want to be in your next chapter? Next thing I knew, I was doing some Google searching and I was looking for research or or more context about the benefits of summer camp to get more insight into how we could apply it to our lives now. And I found something interesting, a website called OurKids.net that featured some research from the Canadian Summer Camp Research Project out of the University of Waterloo Health Communities Research. Now, they identified seven core benefits of summer camp, and I was floored at how much we, as midlife gals, could embrace these ideas as we continue to learn how to be more and more intentional about our future, our next chapter. So here are the seven core benefits that were identified. One, building friendships and social skills. Not a surprise, right? And super important. Focusing on being more and more intentional about meaningful relationships is one of the most important things you can do for happiness. So that skill is one of the benefits. The next thing they talked about was developing resiliency and confidence. So think about that. 
Learning how to overcome adversity and build confidence to keep moving forward and keep growing forward are so important to help you become the woman you want to be. You have to get more confident to keep moving forward. If every time you had a setback, you caved, you wouldn't be able to move forward. And that's really what you need to do. You got to keep growing. Next, we've got becoming and staying physical. Now, this one doesn't need much explanation. Moving more keeps you flexible, mobile, and strong. All good things in midlife and beyond. Nobody wants to get stuck physically or emotionally, right? (laughs) Then they mention overcoming nature deficit disorder. I was curious about this term, so I looked it up, and nature deficit disorder was introduced in 2005 to give language to talk about and focus on the importance of connecting more to nature. You know, there was a trend with more and more technology. We're on our devices a lot. It's hard to imagine summer camp without being outside. Now, I know there are specialty camps where that may not be so, but classic camp like we're talking about now is all about the pool, being in the woods, and being under the stars. And that's all part of the magic. And then there's leadership opportunities. I loved reading that this was a benefit. It's not always clear where we learn about good leadership. A lot of times it's from bad leadership, like being the recipient of. Uh, But one thing is for sure, learning about leadership, it's often informal. You know, when you're a kid, it's like by example. And camp is one place where there are lots of potential examples. You could be uh, given some leadership positions or you are the recipient of being in a situation where uh, there's a new leader. These lessons are often informal, but in this setting, they could just be so powerful and valuable. It's so easy to identify with people that you care about. And because there are leaders at all levels and all ages for all kinds of things, it's just so good. It's so good to have those experiences. Now, the next benefit I loved, it's this idea that there's continuing education in the summer. So to think about the camp experience as continuing education. And this means, you know, not just blobbing out, (laughs) but continuing to learn and be inspired in the summer. Not that there's anything wrong with the occasional blob time, but it's really approaching camp like it's a rich learning experience for people of all ages. And then last, they mentioned this active play concept. Now, I wanted to make sure I understood what active play was about, and I went to this website called pediatricsplus.com, and this was the definition. Active play is an activity from which one derives amusement, entertainment, or enjoyment by taking a participatory rather than a passive role. Passive play, on the other hand, is an activity where you get the amusement, entertainment, or enjoyment by observing passively. So this benefit is that you're carving out time for active play. And as you can imagine, active play is a cornerstone of summer camp. And it's a very good thing, participating, not just watching, not just waiting. Everyone is doing it and encouraged to do so. It's kind of like a safe place to learn and do like this because everybody's doing it. So my friend, what can you learn from the benefits of summer camp? And how might you bring some of those summer camp vibes into your life, especially now in midlife? So I was thinking there are five ways that you can get started and it's not too difficult. So get ready because I think you're going to want to dive in. The first thing is to be playful. Now quick, notice what the first thing is that pops into your mind. Is it dancing, surprising somebody with a fun invitation, going to a candy store, challenging someone to a game of jacks, going for like a tube ride? on a lake, riding your bike, blowing some bubbles, challenging yourself to find more ways to be playful and have more fun. What does being playful mean to you? And go for it. (laughs) Number two, try something new. What do you want to do? What do you want to learn? What do you want to experience? Do you want to go someplace new, listen to new music, shop in a different store, try a new restaurant, try a new food, plan a different kind of weekend outing? Go treetop trekking. That one's hard to stay. Treetop trekking. (laughs) Be a tourist in your own town. Anything, even if you have to find parking, try something new. Number three, get outside more. Now, this one's so simple. Notice how much time you typically spend outdoors and then amplify it. What could you do to get out more? Drink your coffee outside? Add an early morning walk to your routine? 
eat lunch outside, chug a water bottle outside, walk somewhere instead of drive, go pull some weeds as a break during the day, have fun with the Merlin app and listen to some birds, do some regular stargazing, go for a walk in the rain, jump in a puddle. So think of something, be creative, and get out there. Number four, be social. Think about how you can connect to people more. You can do it by writing, by hanging out, by talking on the phone, or FaceTime, for example. You can go visit someone you hadn't seen in ages. You can be more intentional with your friends and your family. If you do this a lot, ask yourself, how can you amplify this? How can you do it more? If you're not that social, think about adding at least one thing to your plans and see what happens. Think about writing camp letters and using stickers. Remember how much fun that was? That counts. <laughs> Have fun with this too. And number five, be excited about what's possible. Ask yourself this, do you need a little attitude adjustment? <laughs> Are you ready for fun campy vibes in your life? Sometimes we need an attitude adjustment. I'm just saying, your mindset could be blocking you. If you're not feeling excited about what's possible, you're thinking something that's not working for you something that's bringing you down or making you grouchy. Be curious about what that might be. If you really wanted to feel excited, what would you have to think on purpose? This is the thought you will need to practice on purpose to set yourself up for success. So my amazing woman in the middle, what do you think? Are you open to having more fun and being more playful and intentional this summer so that you can let those summer camp vibes come back into your life? Are you ready? Is it something you want? If so, I have an amazing invitation for you. Just as I mentioned earlier, please join us in the Midlife Summer Camp experience. Midlife Summer Camp with me as your camp coach is a fun virtual group coaching experience for midlife women 50 plus who want to have some mindful, playful summer fun, just like the good old days. Summer fun like when we were kids, but as your older and wiser amazing self who doesn't want to sleep in a bunk bed, <laughs> we're going to have some meaningful, purposeful fun in the summer on Zoom with other midlife gals. Midlife Summer Camp is going to be an engaging summer midlife coaching experience for you to meet some midlife gals, relax, try some new things, do some high quality thinking, and have fun intentionally. So ask yourself, when's the last time you created a fun, intentional, and meaningful experience like this for yourself, for you, that felt like camp. This, my friend, is putting yourself first. To get more information, head over to www.midlifesummercamp.com. You can also find all the details on my website at susierosenstein.com and just click the shop tab and you can register there. Now that's it for this episode. As you know, this podcast is all about how to love your life again after 50. It's all about coaching you to be more intentional and to incorporate mindfulness into your life as a regular practice. A great way to get started is by joining the Midlife Summer Camp Experience. And that is a great thing that you can do to put yourself on the agenda. And finally, for show notes and links, head over to www.susierosenstein.com and click the podcast tab and look for episode 358. You'll also see links there for our new show, Women in the Middle Entrepreneurs. Thanks so much for listening, my friend. It's time for you to put yourself first one thought at a time. I'm Susie Rosenstein, and I'll talk to you next week.